Hey, it's Dave. Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the La Perla Habana Wide. Now this cigar is a Robusto and basically it's a 5.1 by 55 ring gauge. A little wide. I tend to like a 52 to a 54, but this is really just in there perfect. And uh, we have a huge band, so I'm going to take the band off and then we're going to get this thing toasted up. sky view of the cigar. Now I stumbled on La Perla Habana one day just scrolling through the CI book. CI is Cigar International for those who don't know. And I read about a few of the cigars and I thought you know what, let me try a couple of these. So I ordered a few, and this one really stuck out at me. I've actually ordered a few boxes of it, and uh, I'm enjoying the fact that I get to review it. As far as flavor goes, this cigar is a flavor bomb. There's a lot of stuff going on here. It's a full flavor maybe medium to full but a, a lot of strong flavors that are really nice I'm gonna get the first third smoking and we'll see what goes on so this cigar is burning really nicely it's got a really nice white ash The flavor from Jump Street is just really nice. Everything's really good so far. Excellent draw. Really good draw. It's funny, this cigar might be a cigar that's a little heavy for some. I'm not so sure. I, I feel that it's got a heavy, full flavor. But I really like the flavors, and I don't really feel like it's tobacco rich, although I gave a friend of mine this cigar the other day, and he thought it was very uh, nicotine rich. He was getting a little lightheaded from it. Uh, I don't get it from this, but it could have been that it was his fourth cigar that night. The burn is nice and slow, which I like. It's a little uneven. Now, I've smoked about five or six of these in the past, and one or two have been uneven, where I've had to make some corrections, and the others were just great. So I'm taking that also into consideration. And when we take into the consideration of the value, it'll be interesting. Some people look at certain cigars and they're like, oh, this is a good cigar for the morning with my coffee, or this is a good after meal cigar. For me, this cigar is really good anytime you want to smoke a cigar. It's just great all the time. It's just, I dig it. What I'm not digging is how many airplanes are going past me now that I've decided to record. Getting into the second, third, really, it's still the same great flavor. It's consistent through. I'm not going to dance around it. I've smoked this cigar many times. I could pretty much go through the review right now for you so you at least know what you've been dealing with. You don't need to watch me smoke the whole thing down, although it's nice. The first thing is burn. This cigar has a nice, slow, classic burn. You can put the cigar down, come back, it's still lit. Really nice that way. 
Now sometimes it may burn a little crooked or a little off, and to me that's not that big of a deal. Sometimes that's humidification stuff. Either way, the burn here is very good. I'm going to give the burn a four. The draw, the draw on this cigar is very good. Is it the gold standard? No. I've had a few cigars that have the gold standard, of course, one of them being the Milanio V. The other, I'll get to a review of it soon. However, this draw is very good. I would give this a four. I almost considered giving it a four and a half on the draw, but I'm just going to give it a four. It's very good. The flavor of this cigar, I'm going to give a five only because in a full body cigar, this is exactly how I want it to taste. I love the taste of this cigar. It is outstanding to me. And that's what my score is based on. You will see I will give many fives in flavor because there's a bunch of cigars and all with different flavor profiles and they're all different, but I think they're all outstanding. And then some cigars I think are just very good, but this is an outstanding flavor cigar for me. Overall experience of this cigar, I give it a five. I love this cigar. I smoke this cigar a lot now. It's one of my go-to cigars. There's about three or four cigars that I go to, well, maybe five or six that I go to regularly where I'm like, I can smoke it and I know I'm going to have the best time smoking. This is one of them. For overall enjoyment, I give this a five. Now we get to the value. When I first bought the cigar, I bought it in a five pack and it was five for 25. With shipping and tax, everything, it's under $6 a cigar. Then I bought a box, and it was $4 a cigar, 20 cigars for $80. Then CI had a sale, and it sold a box for $65. I bought that as well. As far as value goes, for me, this is a 5 plus. If I could give higher than a 5, I would, but it's a 5 plus. So a total score in the DL Regular Guy review, this cigar gets a 23 out of 25. Anyways, I'm going to finish this cigar. You're going to go on CI and order some. Maybe. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm.